It's been another classic US Open. Justin Gibblestop reveals just what makes this fortnight in New York so special. Well, welcome to the Billie Jean King National Tennis Center, the home of the US Open, the last Grand Slam of the year. Now, this is such a unique facility filled with so many fun and interesting places, none more interesting than right here, the Court of Champions. Now, these statues and these plaques commemorate some of the best players of all time that have triumphed here in New York. Starting with John McEnroe, New York's finest. And you have Jack Kramer, the legend, Jimmy Connors, who won the US Open five times on three different surfaces. He's the only player to do that. Of course, the Rocket, Rod Laver, the two-time Grand Slam champion, and Bill Tilden, the famous American. So, so many things to see. Come with us on ATP World Tour Uncovered. We're gonna show you the biggest tennis stadium in the world, Arthur Ashe Stadium. Well, this is what it feels like to be sitting down at the changeover, playing at the US Open on Arthur Ashe Stadium, the biggest tennis stadium in the world. 23,000 people packed this place. It's absolutely electric. One of the best feelings in sports. Well, here we're coming from Arthur Ashe Stadium. These are the hallowed grounds of the US Open. You can see the walls are adorned with some of the best players that ever played here at the US Open. A little intimidating when you're coming out to play on center court. And now we go through the halls. And one of the most important rooms in this whole place is the purser office. This is where you get paid. So you don't want to miss this room, but it's best to go there late in the tournament as opposed to early, because then the check gets bigger. All right, let's go through the rest of the US Open. Here's a very important area. This is the practice court area. This is where the players sign up for the practice courts. We have Wimbledon finalist right here. Thomas Burdich. Say hello to ATP World Tour Uncovered, Thomas Burdich. Well, here we are in the hub here in the Players' Lounge of the US Open. Over to the right, we have transportation. To the left, we have the racket stringer. We have former US Open doubles champion Bob Bryan right there. Eric Buderak on the player council. You guys about to get a car? Yeah. Uh, so show us how it's done. Show us how the process is done, how to get a car. Booty, let's come on in here, buddy. Can I get a car? No, come on. All right, so here's, so here's Bob Bryan right here. You have to scan me? No, nope, just scan me. Former champion, Davis Ritz. Cup star, going to the, where are you staying? Ritz Carlton. The maybe. Ritz Carlton. Only the best. This is how easy it is. You just put in your name, and they bring around a nice, big, shiny Mercedes. Yeah. A nice, big, shiny Mercedes Benz. Only the best for the best. In the middle of the spacious player's lounge, you can see comfortable couches, flat screen TVs, Foosball, all leading nicely right to the player dining room. Come on. See how this overlooks nicely these five practice courts. So you'll be practicing. These are the practice courts saved for the top players most of the time. So players could eat, come through this walkway, look over and watch the competition. This Open is known for their fine dining. They have some of the best player food around the world. Eric Buderak. Travis Rettenmeyer, Julian Roger, doubles finalists at the Farmers Classic in Los Angeles. The winner in Belgrade, right there. <laughs> exactly right. Bruins, right there. Not so much there, but still. Now everything you could possibly imagine, okay? Protein, high protein, pasta. What would a tennis player's restaurant or lounge be without a pasta bar? There wouldn't be one. You name it, they have it here in the U.S. Open Player Restaurant. Well, I don't care who you are and how good you are, you still need to register. And here we go to the player registration. This is where the players check in and get the all-important credential. I've already gotten mine. Right there. Look at that. So they'd have to come over here get their picture taken against the nice, clean backdrop like this, right? Yeah. One, two, three, picture taken. OK. <laughs> so there it is. So, And then you print that out. Wow, that's better looking than my other picture. We should have go with that one. Thank you, Danielle. And thank you very much. The greatest player registration team in all of tennis right here. And you saw it on the ATP World Tour Uncovered. Thanks, guys. Next week on ATP World Tour Uncovered, 
The doubles pair spanning a great divide. Pakistan's Asamul Haq Qureshi and India's Rohan Bopana. And he's one of the best loved umpires on the ATP World Tour. We get to know Sweden's man in the middle, Lars Graf. Until then, don't forget to log on to atpworldtour.com for your 24-7 breaking news. See you next week.